Now to a developing story. Two of the three Metro Detroit doctors at the heart of what the feds say is a 12-year-long conspiracy to mutilate girls' genitals are to be released on house arrest. Meantime, the new estimate tonight is that 100 girls, possibly even more, have been harmed. Let's get right to our Mara McDowell. She's live at Federal Courthouse tonight, and these are some stunning new revelations in this case, Mara. They sure are, Karen. They were made here in federal court today by federal prosecutors who are estimating that 100 uh, number of little girls potentially affected here as two of these doctors are now being able to go home under house arrest. Let me take you through it. All of this began to unravel with the arrest of Northville Dr. Jumana Nagarwala, who was accused of mutilating the genitals of two girls brought from Minnesota to a Livonia clinic owned by Dr. Fakhrudin Attar. Nagarwala is accused of doing the procedure on the children, and Attar and his wife, Dr. Farida Attar, are accused of helping to set up the procedure as well as being on premises when it was being done. Now tonight, the Attars are being allowed to go home and stay under house arrest, but away from their own nine-year-old daughter. Nagarwala remains behind bars. All three are part of a small sect of Shia Muslims called Dawoodi Bora. Back here alive. So federal prosecutors say they have identified eight young girls who they say were generally mutilated here in Detroit. So if they have only identified eight, how are they coming up with this 100 number? Well, they are coming up with that number because they say from police interviews, et cetera, with the doctors who they themselves say they have been, how they call it, treating these girls uh, several every year for more than 12 years. Karen, back to you. Mara, an attorney for Dr. Nagarwala says this is not genital mutilation, but a benign procedure. What do federal prosecutors have to say about that? Well, the federal prosecutors do not see this as a benign procedure at all. What Dr. Nagarwala is trying to say is that she cuts them, but she is cutting what she says is membrane. Um, federal prosecutors say this is female genital mutilation. All Back right. to you. Mara McDonald live for us tonight. Thanks, Mara.